A unique groundbreaking with military fatigue outfits as commanders of the Niagara Falls Air Reserve Station kicked off the $10.6 million renovation of the main gate off Lockport Road. That October 17th main gate closure affecting over 1,700 reservists and civilian staffers for two years. The detours, the Tuscarora Road gate on the western side of the base for primary entrance and the Walmore Road gate on the eastern side for primary exit. The estimated cost of over $10 million just to build a new entrance gate to this base may seem like a lot of money, but it is important when it comes to security because military bases themselves have become targets. In past years, there's been fatal violence at military bases like Fort Hood in Texas and Pensacola in Florida. There is definitely an increase in that throughout the United States and many of our military bases. We've been lucky here. So we're gonna improve a lot of our security features including the barriers and anything that would prevent an attack on the base and just increase the overall security of the base. Investment keeps the base open period after the 2005 Pentagon attempt to close it. At this point, I think we feel very secure, but we also uh, know that uh, we need to remain vigilant um, and continue to work on behalf of our base. Now a push for the Air Force to fund a longer 11,000 foot runway costing $55 million so that the KC-135 tankers can take off fully loaded for refueling missions. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.